So this is what the subject of today's video is going to be. This is my uh, free... Well, these things probably cost about like 200 bucks new. So I'm amazed. I got this one for free. I didn't have to pay anything for it. With the exception of some, uh, some of my labor. But nevertheless, it was free. Cost... Stereo. Multifunction stereo. So you've got a three disc changer there. That's a CD changer. Your front panel controls, more on which in a, in a second. Two tape decks. One of which does recording. The other just playback. And this one, I'm not even going to bother trying because I don't think it's all too healthy. And it doesn't look very clean either. Stop auto-focusing, please. You can see, maybe, I'm going to grab my light here, then um, the camera stops focusing all the time. That it is a little bit dirty and worn. Look at all of that dirt. So this one I'm going to be cleaning. More on which later, in another video. This one, the other one, although it isn't much better, it is certainly a little bit better. I'm not going to take any chances on that erase head, though. That is a dirty head. Anyways. Uh, there's a sensor there. This is the front panel controls. There's a sensor here for a remote control that I did not get. It's a standby light because this uses a... It's a constant on device. So when you plug it in, it's always on and you can't turn it off. Unless you unplug it. You have the multifunction display, which is not backlit. That is actually one of the unfortunate things. And makes me wonder about the cheapness of this stereo. A volume up and down, which is not one of those hardware ones where you spin around all the way, it's just software. Which again is really cheap, it's a microcontrolled software switch. On the front you've got the power button. Headphones, which is a little bit bigger than the, uh, it's a standard RC, I think it's RCA jack that they call that, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an RCA jack. But I've actually got an adapter somewhere that I could not find for this video. That will take that and put it into like a standard earbud type connector. Which is smaller than that. And we have a memo function, which I don't know what that's for. Random. Intro, I, I might try that at some point if I can get what's wrong with it fixed. Remain mode, which again, that's for setting the time. As you can see, hopefully, when I shine some light on the display. It shows you the time when it's not powered up. Focus, please. And you can see the standby light is on because I don't have it powered up. That's a repeat button. Your play, pause, and your stop, your sleep. I think those are your these are your skip buttons for the uh, in the CD mode, but those are your tuning for in when you're in the tuner mode, which is the radio. Rather cheap. Again, there's no slider switch for controlling that. FM stereo mono changer. HSD, which I'm sure I could have somebody explain to me. Same can be said with that. And this is a station preset selector, which I will show you in this video. And then, of course, we have the two tape decks, and at the top, disc skip for changing the disc, and the open close for the tray. And on the back, you can see, you have your uh, product information. SCOS model HH964, I didn't know that before. Of course, it's made in China. And then we have all of your uh, warning information and other miscellaneous things. And then we have the um, FM antenna. Which is basically just this little wire that somebody tied a knot in. Auxiliary input, sorry about that, auxiliary input, 
which I did get the cable for. That is the cable. I have it plugged in and I'm going to demonstrate it for you in this video. Then the speakers plug in through this kind of a an arrangement. They have just two wires and they plug in to the uh, separate left and right channels. Let's power it up. Goes into CD mode. Here's the problem. There we go. See, three disc changer. Let's put some CDs in there. We will put um, three CDs in there. Three of them. Play reads. I'm gonna hit play. Play symbol appears. Doesn't find disc two. Doesn't find disc three. And it doesn't find disk one either. So obviously there's a problem with either the laser assembly or the di the unit itself. We're gonna have to look into that. Let's just get our disks back. Okay. So let's change to the tape mode. Tape appears on the screen, and we will take our tape, which is just one of these. Fast forward to what is hopefully the beginning of the song. play too much of that. It does have a pause function, like so. And I won't hit record because I don't really feel like erasing over that. And the speakers. That's what these are. You can see there, those are just show, I believe. I think they're just plastic. That's the real speaker, probably about maybe three inch, four inch Maybe even a 5 inch speaker. I think that's a bass port in the front. And on the side, knocking stuff over, you have the information 8 watt maximum. Power consumption, 4 ohm impedance. Sorry for the shaking. You have it in French as well, made in China. And the other one, that one's actually in better shape than the other one. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know who did that, but... Okay. Now let's go to the uh, tuner mode after we turn the volume all the way down. AM radio. I'm not going to try and tune into anything there. 
to FM, and I will go get you some demonstrations for the auxiliary. Into auxiliary we go. Okay, that didn't go too well. Let's find uh, some music. Keep it low so I don't disturb anybody. And there you go, there's the demonstration. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Till then.